In this video I'm going to show you how to actually run code inside of Outlaw. And in case you don't want to use Outlaw, if you've got a favorite text editor, code editor of your own that you'd like to use, I'm going to show you how to do that as well. So I've already got Outlaw up and running here. First thing I need to do is set up something in Preferences. So click Preferences, and then here under the General section, make sure that the framework says Corona SDK. Hit the Browse button, and then you're going to find the Corona Simulator. And if you are on the Macintosh, it'll be in Applications. And then just scroll down till you find Corona SDK. There it is. And there's Corona Simulator right there. So select that and click the Open button. And then click OK. And now you are all set up here. Also, I'm going to go into the Corona SDK folder. And inside Sample Code, there are some other folders. And inside Getting Started, just for a quick demo here, I'm going to take Hello World. And I'm going to drag it over here and drop it on this sample code right here in Outlaw. Now if I go and expand that, I see there's my Hello World project, and here are the files, and here's main.lua, and here's a sneak peek at Corona and Lua code, and we'll get into what all this means later. But you can see how it works right now by selecting this project, hitting Launch, and we'll click Continue Trial, and there is the sample app up and running. Let me switch over to Windows real quick and show you how to set that up. So in Outlaw, choose Preferences. And under General, make sure it says Corona SDK. And then this time when you browse for it, you're going to be going to the C drive and then Program Files. And scroll down till you find Corona Labs, Corona SDK. And there is the Corona Simulator right there. So select it, choose Open down here. Should be all set up. Click OK. So let's go find the sample code here. If you install Corona SDK into the default location, then you'll find the sample code on your C drive, in Program Files, down into Corona Labs, in the Corona SDK folder, Sample Code, Getting Started, and there's Hello World that we used before. So this works the same way. I'm going to grab this folder and drop it here on Sample Code. And now we can open this up. And we can open this file, and since it's coming from the Program Files folder, it is not writable, it's read-only. We can click OK, because we can still view it. And we should be able to hit Launch, and launch that. And there we go, the Hello World program, running in the Windows version of Corona Simulator. If you want to use just a simple code editor instead of Outlaw, I'm going to show you how to do that. And the process is the same, whether you're running in Windows or Mac. So I'm going to switch back to the Mac for this part of it doesn't really matter which code editor you want to use. The thing is, you need to make sure that you're using an actual source code editor, a text editor, and not a word processor. Word processors like Word and so on put control characters and hidden characters and kind of formatting type things inside with the text. So you can't use a word processor to write the code. It has to be something that just is a text editor. Even Notepad will work. But there's a few things out there that are just a lot better. They're made for programming. Komodo Edit is one of them. It's free, it's cross-platform, so you can use it on Mac or Windows. And who wouldn't like an editor named after a dragon? That's kind of cool. Sublime Text is another one that a lot of programmers swear by. And this, again, is cross-platform, so you can run it on Windows or Mac. I think even Linux, too. And one of the things about Sublime Text, it's free to evaluate, but at some point they say they want you to pay for it if you're going to continue using it. But there is no time limit, so if you need to take six months to evaluate it, you can do that. Basically, it's download and use it for free, and at some point they want you to pay for it. But you can use it to get started without any problem, and Komodo Edit is just free forever. So I'm going to show you how to use Komodo Edit, and I have it up and running right here. And I'm going to use the Hello World sample again. And this time I'm just going to take the folder, and I'm just going to drop it over here. And it goes ahead and loads the whole thing, and we can actually look at the graphics in here. And if I double-click the main.lua, it'll open up this code right here. Now, to run it, there's no launch button here, and so this is where things are a little bit different. So I'm going to go back over here and go to Corona Simulator. So in this case now, I'm going to have to run the Corona Simulator myself. I'm going to double-click that. And now what I have to do is, under the File menu, choose Open. 
and then I have to go into where that sample code is. And there's that main.lua file we were looking at. Click open. And now it launches the app in the simulator, just like before. So you can do the same thing with a code editor, but with Outlaw, you save a couple steps. And that's one of the reasons why I created it. Just makes it a little faster and easier. But if you have a code editor that you really like, you can still use Corona SDK with that editor.